Welcome back divers. I'm buzzing with excitement for today's video because we've got our hands on not just one, but two epic new stratagems to spread even more democracy. Last video, we went over the Quasar Cannon and the link can be found on the top right of the video. I've been testing these bad boys out and wow, the heavy machine gun has totally blown my expectations out of the water. This thing is a beast when you get it right, demanding a specialized loadout to really bring out its best. With the right setup, you're basically an unstoppable force, mowing down anything that dares to cross your path. Welcome to Insightful Gaming, where we're all about arming you with the ultimate loadouts to turn the tide of battle in your favor. Today, we're putting the spotlight on the heavy machine gun. We'll break down its performance against every type of enemy, talk through its strengths and weaknesses, and then we'll show you a loadout that elevates the heavy machine gun to a whole new level of awesome. So if you're geared up to deliver democracy in the most badass way possible, you've hit the jackpot by tuning in. If our guide lights up your game, do the good deed, smash that like button and don't miss. All right, folks, let's dive straight into the nitty gritty, starting with the basics. The MG206 heavy machine gun is essentially a mobile version of the HMG emplacement. The best way to describe it, a very powerful but difficult to wield machine gun with intense recoil. This beast hits like a truck and slices through medium armored targets as if they're just paper. You get two magazines with it, each packing 75 rounds. While it's a powerhouse against medium armor, you've got to brace yourself for a hefty six second reload time. And yeah, running out of bullets faster than you'd like is as frustrating as it sounds. It comes with three fire modes. We've got 450, 750, and the blazing 1200 RPM. From what I've seen, sticking to 450 RPM helps keep your ammo in check. But when you're up against charges, crank it up to 1200 RPM for the win. Switching between modes is easy, just hold down the reload button. Handling this HMG though, feels clunky. Moving your aim feels like dragging your feet through mud, and the recoil is just wild. So let's go over the pros and cons before we dive deeper. The big win with this weapon is its raw power. It can take out medium armor and charges like it's nothing. But the cons? Well, you only get two magazines and each only holds 75 rounds. Plus, that recoil is a beast. So why bother with it? It all boils down to the damage output. Damage alone is worth it. Also, with the right setup, you can mitigate the cons. All right, let's get see how the HMG fares against the bugs, starting with warriors. Just aim for their shiny armored heads, and they're pretty much toast after a few shots. Now, for the stalkers, it's the same drill. A couple of well-aimed bullets to the head, and their history. Moving on to the hive guards, these guys might be a bit tougher and need a few more bullets, but aim true at their heads and they'll drop just like the rest. And don't forget about the brood commanders. Similar strategy here, a few precise headshots and they'll be kissing the dirt in no time. This gun is a beast for chewing through those medium armored enemy swarms, making it perfect for clearing out those pesky patrols. Now, charges, folks, this is where things get a bit more interesting. These bad boys have armored faces and legs, meaning you've got to get creative to take them down. You could go all ninja, sneaking around to blast them in their not so little behinds, or toss a stun grenade, circle around while they're stunned and unload half your mag into them. Flip to 1200 RPM mode and they'll be down in two to three seconds tops. As for the Bile Titans, well, they're a different story. Your best bet there is to rely on your other offensive stratagems to take those giants down. All right, let's pivot to how the HMG stacks up against the robots. Starting with the Berserkers, these guys can be a real thorn in your side, but the HMG, it turns them into scrap metal pretty efficiently. Moving on to the Walkers, they're surprisingly not too tough. 
around 10 shots aimed at their chest and you'll see them topple over. Easy as pie. Now, for the Devastators, it's all about precision. Aim for their head and they're out of commission in just a few seconds. But keep in mind, there are two flavors of Devastators. For the Shield Devastators, you'll need to snipe through that tiny opening to the right of their shield, targeting their head. A few well-aimed shots and down they go. When you're up against hulks, aim for that red glow on their chest, hit that spot and they're going down. As for taking on a cannon or a tank, while your offensive stratagems are your best friend here, don't underestimate the HMG. If you aim for their vents, you can speed up their demise significantly. So, gear up, aim well, and happy hunting. All right, so the gun's pretty solid on its own, but let's dive into how we can smooth out those rough edges. Let's first discuss that wild recoil. Yeah, it's a beast, but we've got a trick up our sleeve to tame it. We're pairing this with a light armor that comes with the engineering kit perk. This gem not only slices the recoil down by 30% when you're crouching or going prone, but it also bumps up your grenade stash by two. Trust me, you'll feel that recoil calm down significantly. Against those tough as nails automatons, I switch it up a bit by combining the engineering perk with some heavy armor for that extra protection against those flying lasers. Now, onto the issue of running out of bullets faster than you'd like. Here's our game changer, the supply backpack stratagem. Think of it as your personal ammo vending machine, packing four supply boxes full of ammo. This means you're not just keeping your heavy machine gun fed, but also dishing out ammo, grenades and stims to your squad. Anytime you are running out of ammo, just hit that 5 key and boom, you've got two fresh magazines ready to go. With this setup, your heavy machine gun isn't just a weapon, it's your primary tool for clearing out those swarms. With ammo to spare and reduced recoil, you're practically unstoppable. Next up in our commando-themed loadout, we're suiting up in the exosuit stratagem. It feels only right to match our big gun vibes with something equally imposing, and the exosuit fits the bill perfectly. Once you're in the exo, you're basically a walking powerhouse with a serious firepower options. First off, you've got a machine gun loaded with a whopping 1,000 rounds, ideal for shredding through light to medium armored foes, which, by the way, make up about 70% of the baddies you'll face. Then there's the rocket pod, armed with 10 rockets ready to unleash hell. A few rockets from this baby and bile titans are history. Charges, they'll be down in one or two hits. Keep those rockets in reserve for the big guys, especially if your heavy machine gun isn't cutting it. Run out of ammo? No sweat, hop out of the exosuit and get back to business with your heavy machine gun. Now, let's talk about beefing up our commando setup with the auto cannon sentry. True to our theme, we're adding another powerhouse to our loadout. This automated cannon turret is a beast, launching anti-tank rounds across long distances. Just set it up before the fight starts and watch its magic. The autocannon turret will be your loyal sidekick, raining destruction on your enemies. With a cooldown of just 180 seconds, and when fully upgraded, this autocannon turret is an absolute game changer. Now that we have talked about our stratagems, let's talk about our primary weapons. Our go-to is the sickle, and folks, this weapon changes the game. Its unlimited ammo is the clincher for me. Imagine cutting through bugs like butter with a hot knife. For our secondary, we've got the Redeemer. Set to semi-auto, it's smooth sailing through the smaller bugs and warriors. Once we're done, we flip back to the sickle and keep the momentum going. Now, for our grenades, we've using the stun grenades. These beauties are a game changer, perfect for stopping a charger dead in its tracks, giving you that golden shot with your heavy machine gun. And there you have it, my guide to a killer loadout. Just a heads up before we part ways. Remember, this is a team game. The real magic happens when we play in a way that elevates everyone. The setup I've laid out is just one way to win. I'm super curious to hear what you think. So jump into the comments, share your thoughts, or hit me with your questions. If you found a value in this video, or just had a good time, do me a favor and smash that like button. Have an amazing week, stay epic, and I'll see you in the next one.